Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I have a little disclaimer for this cooking menu for you. The tofu that I said I put in this, I completely and utterly forgot to put it into and I didn't realise until I actually served the meal. So you can still go ahead and put the tofu in there or just leave it out like I forgot to put it in there. Alright guys, I hope you enjoy this one and we'll see you soon. I found this jar of Malaysian Luxon soup paste that I'd bought because I wanted to try it out. Um, it's been in there for probably a few months now and I figured, you know what, this is a perfect time to explain to you guys how I take something like this and turn it into a meal. So I'm going to read to you guys the instructions, ingredients list on this jar. They are quite small so I need to put my glasses on to do that. So this is what I um, am going to be making. It's Laska paste, Laska soup. Las I can't even say it. It's a Laska soup. <laughs> uh, so it's a soup paste. So I'm going to show you how I take something like this along with what else I've got in my pantry or in my fridge and I make a meal out of it. So this uh, instructions on the back of this here, it's actually a prawn Laska. Las it's a prawn soup basically and uh, so it's got in here basically the jar of paste this is 180 grams so the whole jar of, of the paste I'll probably use half of it and see how the flavors are um, because I am only I'm not sure how many this serves it doesn't actually say how many this uh, servings per pack two servings per pack so I'm only going to make probably half of half of what they're suggesting um, just as a trial to see whether we do or don't like it so it is the jar of paste then it says coconut milk uh, I don't use coconut milk I use coconut cream so it says vegetables water or vegetable stock um, so I'll either use some vegetable powder um, but in this case I'm actually going to use the chicken stock that's going to be out of the noodles I'm going to be using uh, and then it says some stir fry soya bean curd or tofu slices. Now, about a week ago, when I went, or maybe two weeks ago, went to Aldi's, I had actually purchased some tofu. I've never eaten tofu before. I just happened to have tofu in my fridge. Um, this is a honey soy flavored tofu. I have never used it before. I have never really eaten it before. So I have no idea what this is going to taste like. So I am actually going to use some of this in there, I just happened to have it, um, because I wanted to try it out, um, but it's been in there for probably about two weeks or so because I am a little bit scared to use it. But this is a whole recipe that I have not, or, or meal type of meal I haven't done before, so why not throw this in there as well. So I'll be using that. And then it says cooked or peeled prawns. Uh, I'm the only one in the house that likes prawns, so I won't be using it. But what I do have in my fridge, which is leftovers from last night's dinner, where I made sourdough uh, sandwiches um, with some marinated chicken, some lettuce, some tomato, and some wedges on the side. That was really, really nice. This is what's left over. I think there's three or four pieces of marinated breast here. So I'm going to use this in it to use this up, um, because otherwise this may not get used and I am not going to waste it. Uh, it looks like fish but it's not fish. Um, it does say in the alternatives down here that you can use chicken or fish so I'm going to use chicken. And uh, Then it says some of the it says rice noodles. Uh, that the I'll put down the bottom the name of the brand of these rice noodles because I don't know how to pronounce them. Um, I don't have those in the house, I don't buy them because we don't use them. So what I am going to use is the chicken noodles, uh, the two minute noodle packets. And this is where I'm going to get my stock from. I'm going to use the chicken flavour stock out of these so that they not only does the noodle themselves get used, but the stock is going to get used out of them as well. And then it says bean sprouts. I don't have any bean sprouts growing at the moment. I do do my own on the occasion, but I don't have any going at the moment. So instead of bean sprouts, 
I have gone and got some diced zucchini out of my cupboard that I'm going to add in there as well. Zucchini doesn't have a lot of flavour, so it's not going to change too much of the flavour. Um, and some yellow squash that I really need to work through as well because I have, I think, three or four jars of these. I had a huge amount of yellow squash grow last um, season, so I'm going to add some of these. They're not a very big flavour in the, these either, so they shouldn't change the flavour too much. Um, and then down in the little fun print down here after the instructions and it tells you how to put it together, it says tips. Add a handful of hard boiled eggs uh, as a substitute for the prawns. You can use chicken or fish pieces. And then it says add some sliced red or green capsicum. I think I've actually got capsicum. So I still have half a capsicum-ish maybe a little more than half a capsicum left uh, from a meal the other day. So I'm actually going to add this into it as well. I'm not a big capsicum fan um, myself, like I don't like celery, but I need to think about the benefits of eating this, even though I don't like it. So I am really trying to add more of this kind of stuff to my meals. So that is my substitutes for what they recommend on the jar. And um, it is a matter of looking outside the ingredients list that's on the jar and going, well, I don't have what they say is on this jar. What do I have that's on this jar that's not on this jar, but I do have in the fridge? I've never tasted this before, so I don't even know if this variety of foods going together is even going to taste any good. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> So, and generally when I do a meal like this, that's not quite the recommended um, ingredients list and so forth, um, it does actually usually turn out really well. So I'm going to put this together this morning, guys, and then I'm going to um, leave it in the slow cooker so that it can just stay hot, so that when everybody wants their dinner, we can just take it straight out. Now, so this is a soup. Um, I have leftover from yesterday meal where I made the um, sourdough, sourdough bread sandwiches for dinner. Um, they were more like a burger because they were huge and they had lots and lots of stuff in it. So I still have a small packet of the white here, a full packet here, that means this is a, it's like a mini loaf. Um, they're actually really yummy. And I still have a full packet of the seeded one here that my husband and I like. The kids don't like the seeded, so that's why I've got the white for them. So this will be served with this as some bread and butter on the side to make the meal um, more complete. The other thing I'm probably going to add into this, just because it's something that most people will actually put into a soup or a stew or anything like that, the onion. Um, onion makes everything taste good so and yeah a couple of days ago when I did go shopping to restock my cupboards I thought I didn't have any onions or I had one onion and it turns out I think hubby must have went and got some onions so now I've got some extra onions I do grow my own onions but I went through them I did not have enough I had I think it was a hundred and something onions from growing them and we went through them in about six months so i know i need to grow a lot more onions so that is my altered version of the luxe soup and hopefully it works out i'm just going to put video me putting it all together uh, how i'm putting it together because there's not a lot of prep or anything here This one's going to be my lunch. The only things I'm cutting up is my onion and the capsicum, which I'll just sort of dice up to, I don't know, centimetre sort of size sort of thing. And then in cutting up my chicken and the tofu. So it won't actually take long for chopping it all to get, putting it, sorry, it doesn't take long for all the prep uh, because most of my vegetables, or well, half of my vegetables are already pre-prepped. Um, so it's going to basically, I'll cook the chicken off. These onions are strong. Get all up my nose. And my eyes are starting to water. 
and then I will put everything, all the flavours and everything into my slow cooker um, along with the noodles and they are just going to slow cook there up until dinner time with the occasional stirring and taste testing and uh, by the time dinner time comes around, I might actually not put the noodles in until probably about two hours before we want to eat it um, because I know these, I have done it before and they can go quite soggy so I might leave them out until a bit later. Um, along with the tofu, I think that might be the plan. So my plan will evolve as I'm thinking about my meal, um, especially when it's a meal that I don't really have a recipe for, something that I'm just sort of putting together. So, and that is why I'm just working through this, talking to you as I'm doing it, so that you can see um, how my meals evolve. Um, so it is going to be like a soup. Um, but I'll probably make it a little bit um, a thickish soup um, so that it looks more like a stew or a casserole. So that is all of those ingredients in there, all my chicken and veggies. I am not going to taste this at this point because that chicken is still raw. It is only browned off. Um, so I do not fancy giving myself food poisoning today. So this will sit for a couple of hours, then I will give it a taste test when it comes all cooked. You can see there's a fair amount of liquid in here. Remember I've got dehydrated vegetables, they will suck up a lot of that juice, so I do need to keep a close eye on it. Guys, I've got the noodles in here, I've checked the flavours, it's really good. I did add a small amount, about a tablespoon of brown sugar to it. It just needed a teeny tiny sweetness added to it. Um, the chilliness of it is, it's a little bit chilly, a little bit of a bite after bite, but it is beautiful. It tastes really, really good. And I think that I really hope that Miss Hungry over here is actually going to eat this for dinner. So, But we'll have to wait and see. And I can't believe you went that whole thing not knowing you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's you, recording this time. You were looking at it, weren't you? Yeah. What? Yeah, so how could you not tell it's not recording? Uh, sometimes I don't look at the button, all right? She's giving me what for because I recorded this already and then I've had to re-record it because it wasn't recording. So this is what it looks like. I've added some more water to it because it got really quite dry, uh, but the flavours and everything are really good. You can see my dehydrated vegetables here. That is a piece of zucchini. Um, they don't fully rehydrate a lot of the time, uh, but they, the vegetables are still in there and they look great. This is going to be awesome with some nice sourdough bread. Hopefully this shows you guys that when you think outside the box for a recipe that you can actually make a really, really nice meal. Um, even if you've got one thing that is on that ingredients list, like on the jar, Miss Hungry, um, that's lettuce hanging out of her mouth. You can substitute everything that's on that ingredients for something else and still make a really nice meal out of the, the what you do have. So, all right guys, Thank you for joining me with Miss Hungry here who wants to eat everything and we will see you on the next vid.